For those of you who are taking academic and creative writing, our next assignment for this week, week eight, um, which will be related to what you did yesterday. Yesterday, you were asked to create a LinkedIn profile and also provide the link to the, the public link to your own LinkedIn profile. Today, I want to talk about an educational philosophy. This is going to be a five to eight sentence paragraph that basically is going to articulate what you want and how you think your learners learn. And a philosophy of education really goes to answering several questions. And uh, I provided a link to these questions that I think provide a good outline or a guide as to what you can include in your educational philosophy. So take a look at these, uh, these uh, questions here. We're not going to go through all of them here, but uh, some of them deal with how your learners learn and uh, what's your goal as a teacher, right? How do you include different aspects of uh, learning into your own classroom environment? How, how do you go about setting up your classes? Um, basically, I would go through and try to answer these questions and then find a coherent way and a cohesive way to basically answer these questions. Again, try to be specific, and you don't uh, necessarily have to include all these questions, but I think you need to include enough of these to provide really a good, uh, I think, a good vision of who you are as a teacher. Think of your educational philosophy as something that changes as you change, okay? So the educational philosophy that you develop for this class this week certainly is going to be quite different from a year from now or even after you graduate and you're in the field. But this really is a starting point, thinking of what you, you can include in your educational philosophy. And then I'm going to ask that you include it in your profile. All right, so here's my public uh, profile. You'll notice that you have an about section, and I think this would be a good place to include your educational philosophy. Uh, don't use mine necessarily as a guide. Again, I would use the questions that are included in this post. There are other websites that also assist in how to develop an educational philosophy, but I think this this one does a pretty good job by presenting a set of questions that I think are very helpful when looking at your own educational philosophy. So again, one paragraph, five to eight sentences. Make sure that your paragraph is unified, coherent, and cohesive because we want to make sure that uh, the language also is representative of who you are as, a, as a, an English teacher. So this is going to be our assignment. There's nothing to upload in Schoology. I only ask that you upload it to your shared online Word document for Unit 2, and please put this at the top of your document, and I'll go in and I'll look at it there. So again, nothing to upload here. I'll look at it in your Word document and leave comments as necessary.